Hi, my name is Emily Laird, and I'm going to explain to you and show you a few steps on how I created this gorgeous, glamorous makeup. We did a glamorous look, and um, it was actually pretty basic on our eyes. We did, put, we did put false lashes. I just got some lashes from Sally's. Like the biggest thing with lashes that you need to do is make sure that it's a little bit dry before you apply them. If they're still wet when you apply them, they're not going to stay on very well. So I made sure they were a little bit dry. I stuck it on her lid. She didn't have her eyes completely closed because it's very easy for them to stick together. But we just kind of placed them and her eyes were kind of closed gently. We let them sit there for a few seconds, probably 10, 15 seconds. We did a highlighter right underneath the brow bone because that'll just help define the brows. The brows are very important. A lot of people discount the brows, but and I'm gonna just kind of do it over on top of what I did. I just brought it through here. I started the front. You're gonna make it a little thicker in here. But the main thing you do is you follow the natural curve of the brows and you bring it straight through. I like to use a powder because it's not too thick and it doesn't go on looking extremely fake. But you use a brush, it's just something with a little bit of an angle. Brought it through and I make sure and go a little bit above the arch because it makes it look a little fuller and just bring it straight down. And that's what we did already on both of them. On her eyelashes or, or her eyeshadow, we put just a nice light highlighter color and I actually used Queen Phyllis from Bare Minerals. And I like to apply that from brow bone to the very end right here on the blade. I put it all over shadow brush right here and uh, I started here I'll put a little bit more on but you just want to make sure to define that and give it a little bit of highlight because it opens up the entire eye it gives a lot of definition and I actually add a little bit more on this side since we need to make sure they're even at all times then I put a crease color right in here you always can use a different brush but I just make sure they're tapered I used a, a darker, it's actually called Queen Tiffany by Bare Minerals, and I put that right here, and I just have her close her eyes, and I just swoop it, and I just start right in here, and I go right underneath, you feel her brow bone, and you bring it under, like just in a swoop, and you kind of lift. It's very easy. I did the same thing over here, just bring it underneath, you can feel the bone, and you just swoop it. And then on her lid, I did a highlighter color, it's actually called nude beach but it has kind of a pinker tone and i put it on and i just put it on her lid and even it out and i'll put a little bit on so you can kind of see but it just kind of blends everything because one important thing you have to do is if you're not blending it's going to look like three choppy colors and that's not good at all so just make sure you're using brushes to blend i love brushes because it's just a lot easier to blend with a brush um, for her liner i used a uh, a dark eyeshadow color and I used a tapered brush. I got this brush and I dipped it in the darker color and I just kind of made a line and I typically will get the lid of the eyeshadow color and I just had to close her eyes and I just brought it right next to the lashes and you're going to draw it up and out when you're doing the liner. I'll kind of show you a little bit Bring it up, and I just kind of touch the lash line right in here, and draw it up. For for her blush, and for the color, the important thing about um, doing blush is to find her her little curves on her face. So you find her cheekbones, yeah. And I always have them go kind of like this, pucker their lips, because it shows the definition really well. And then you're gonna get a brush. I like to use a smaller tapered blush brush. I use a couple colors when I do blush because I like to highlight. You always want to highlight right around the eyes and the brow bone area. So I'll kind of bring it around on either side and then kind of slightly touch, kiss is what you can call it, the top of her cheekbones right underneath. And you bring it up and that gives it a little bit of <clears throat> just a blush look like she's happy or when she's smiling. This is just a lighter color, it's bare minerals as well. But it, it gives it just a little hint of color and a little bit of shimmer. Because when you highlight an area, it needs to be lighter color, and it just brings it and makes it look a little bit open, a little bit wider. And then I get a darker color 
I use all sorts of stuff. This is MAC. You're gonna just get the darker color and you're gonna find where you found the cheekbone and you're gonna go right underneath it and you're gonna just lightly brush, lightly brush, and you're gonna blend is the biggest thing. Blend up, up and down in like a swoop, up and down. And I always kind of blend around. I, I touch almost every area. You, you have to be careful not to have too much color on the brush when you're touching these areas, but most of the color needs to go right in here, right in here. And then I go right underneath the jawbone, right in here, and that gives a lot of definition. You want to make sure that she looks extremely chiseled underneath. You can do a lot more of, you know, putting different darker colors, but she doesn't need a lot because she's a beautiful shaped face. So you put most of your color right underneath the cheekbone area, right in here, and it gives it a nice chiseled look. Um, we're gonna do her lips. We already did her lips in a red. We're doing this glamorous Hollywood thing. So we're just doing red lips and kind of just not really a smoky eye, but more of a big lashes definition, but not like an extremely dark eye. Cause she needs to look like, you know, she could go in the daytime. She could be going out at night. She'd be doing a lot of things with this look right here. I started on her lips with a liner <clears throat> and I'll show you kind of what I did. I always start on the outside and then bring it in. And it just gives the shape. You wanna make sure, you know, some people have smaller lips, some people have bigger lips. She's got great lips, but you can, with the liner, you can really change the shape of the lips and make them look a lot fuller. So I'm bringing it in from the side and you kind of just catch up on the ends and you make it to where it all meets up. And I drew it in on the lip a little bit. I drew the actual color of this liner on the lip because it'll keep the other lipstick you put on um, it'll help it stick. And then after I finish that, you have to make sure and do the bow right here on the lip. Make sure and get that shape in. Because it's easy for the red especially to bleed and you just want to be careful and keep it kind of in the lines of this liner that you apply. And then, well, I'm trying to keep this color on so I'm actually using, um, it's like a pen, it's a lip pen. But this will stay on for a few hours. And so what I did was just kind of painted it inside the line you've already created. So you kind of have a perimeter. And you just kind of draw, almost like this is almost like a marker. It's really easy. And you just fill in what you already did. So the biggest thing is you can always put more on, so just be careful when applying. But you fill in and I just have her kind of smack her lips. <clears throat> and then, to give it more of a glossy look, because both of those are kind of dry, I put on a lipstick that just has a little bit more moisture in it, and I use a brush. I just put enough on the brush, you know, where you really see the color. And I start in the middle, and I just bring it in on each side. And it creates that. Perfect, glamorous, Hollywood, red lip. And you can put like a gloss over this. I'm not going to because for our old Hollywood, they, don't, they didn't use a lot of shine on their lips. This has plenty of shine on its own, but you kind of want more of a matte look actually. I like the brush because it's a, lot, it's a lot easier to define a lip with a brush than just putting it on with a lipstick. Because lipsticks can be thick and you put it on and it can get all over. But you can always clean it up with a little brush and if you get it on the outside, I'll typically use <clears throat> a sponge or a concealer brush and put a little bit of concealer on it and go around the lip just to clean up anything that kind of might have come out of the line. But that's it, that's the perfect lip.